Hey everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thanks for joining me on today's Survivor Series. You say, Tony, what does Survivor Series mean? Are you talking about yourself? I'd say, barely a survivor, right? Look at this carcass. Anyway, when I found this car and another Eldorado, uh, I was blown away. Imagine looking at thousands and thousands of cars every month, right? Every month, I'm seeing thousands of cars. And when you go to someone's garage and you find something like this, that is so well preserved. The family uh, has kept it there. Uh, the parents passed and, and the kids didn't really want to sell it. The kids are grown adults our age now. And uh, it was there and it had this layer of dust on it. I was like, oh my God, I see something. And I opened the door and the door inside was like preserved perfect. It was like, I don't want to say perfect because nothing's perfect, but it was like perfect, right? And uh, we hit the key and it started up. I was like, oh my God, man. And so we brought it back here, changed all the fluids, did all the stuff to, to make it really up to date and ready to drive home. And it is some kind of special. I've driven this car all over the place. It is everything you think a Coupe de Ville is. To go to a car show and show this car as being like almost all original is unheard of. This car has been driven less than 2,000 miles a year, maybe closer to 1,000 miles a year. And it's, uh, we're going to have so much fun doing this video. I'm telling you, man, it's a piece of history. And when they go to restore these cars, uh, as these cars are going up in value, they're going to use cars like this as the benchmark of what a car should look like. All right, so this is the best part of this car I like to talk about, and that is the paint part. This is Firethorn Metallic. Um, and it is, uh, you say, well, uh, that's beautiful paint tone. Tell me a little bit about it. And I say, well, you know what? It's almost all original. And how do you know that? Well, you know, the reason I know that is because we have electronically metered it uh, to uh, verify that. You say, well, Tom, what is an electronic meter? What's it do? How do I get one of these? Well, uh, you could buy one of these. They're pretty expensive. However, it's industry tool that we use here. It's kind of like, uh, you know, a giant toolbox. Do you need a giant toolbox? No, it looks good. But anyway, uh, the point is that this measures millions of an inch thick. So when a car is painted at the factory, it's painted in a hospital-like environment, and it's very similar so it's within say three to four millionths of an inch thick on every panel. So if it measures say three on one panel, three millionths of an inch thick, it might be a maximum of six. When it jumps to nine and 10, 11, we know it's been painted, right? And so uh, without boring everybody uh, here, and this does, it beeps and lets you know. And here we have a 3.0, all right? And uh, Ange is gonna walk around here and she's gonna check out this stuff here, which is kind of cool. And then you just kind of go around the car and and you verify it, 2.5, 3.0. We're not gonna do the whole car, but you can see what I mean, 3.5. And like everything is super consistent. In this way, you don't have to wonder if it's real. We know this is real because nobody could paint a car this uh, thin today. It would always be much higher. They don't care how thick the paint is. They care how good it looks, right? And so they're not going to wet sand it down so it's all around because they don't really care about that. They care how good it looks. But anyway, that's my point is what we have here is almost an all original Survivor. I did do uh, the uh, rear fillers back there. We'll talk about those because those crumble on every GM car ever made, including Grand Nationals and Cadillacs, everything. Uh, so we had to replace those because they would uh, deteriorate it. Anyway, uh, that is that. And now we are going to uh, get under the hood. But before we go get into that real quick, I want to share something with you. If you wanted a small upgrade, that's what I love about these cars. A small upgrade would be to go to the wire wheels, wire wheel covers, inexpensive route, or wire wheels, which would dress the car up a little bit too, if you wanted to. All right, so let's take a peek under here for a minute. So what are we getting? So in the Coupe de Ville versus the Eldorado, two very different cars, right? This is rear wheel drive, um, and the, El the Eldorado is being front wheel drive. Here we have the Cadillac 500 cubic inch engine, right? That is a lot of engine. Think about that, 500 cubic inches. It's why these cars run and drive so well. Under the hood here are many original things. This is an original decal that's here. Uh, there's a couple other original decals that are in here. This has cruise control. It has air conditioning. It has power disc brakes. It has power steering. It has all the luxury things. And when we get inside, it's even more luxurious of all that. You'd be proud to go to a car show and open the hood of this. It looks great under here. Uh, it is, uh, it functions the way it's supposed to. And again, back to the effortless power, while it won't fry the tires in every gear, that's not what you're buying this for. What you're buying this for is to go for a drive and have the power to take another couple out with you or take a carload of people with you with the air conditioning on and have plenty of power to go wherever you want. 
So uh, we did replace these fillers here. They're a requirement. They're expensive to do, but you got to do them. Uh, every GM car does it, and there's nothing you can do about that. Now they look good, and they're all the way they're supposed to be, okay? Uh, here, we, this is all original, this pinstriping, too. This is crazy. Like, look at the glass. The glass is all original, circa 1970s, right? 50-plus years old, go. All right, this is the trunk that uh, many shows have been talked about. Like, instead of how much luggage does it fit, how many bodies does it fit, right? Because look at it. It's an enormous trunk designed for travel, right? This is the Cadillac of the day. This is what kind of made Cadillac Cadillac. These are original decals in here. All original paint. Original Cadillac mat is in here. Spare tire and jack. All of that stuff is original. All of it is preserved. I don't think you get what I'm saying here. This is a piece of history that's been preserved that you can get in and enjoy today. It's awesome. Imagine going to the beach in this car, right? Versus the SUV that you drive every day. This is pretty cool, pretty different, and pretty nice. You're walking up to your cool 76 Survivor DeVille. You're a survivor, it's a survivor, and you guys are meant to be together, right? And you go and you go, man, this is a good looking car. And then you go to get in it. And this is really where uh, the Cadillac shine, like this design window here. I want you to hear this annoying sound, annoying sound. Why do I? bring it up because it's supposed to be there. Listen to that. That's the key in buzzer. It still works. Is that amazing? So this has uh, all the luxury things that you would want. It has tilt wheel. It has telescopic wheel, right? It has all of these cool gauges up here. It has a clock. This is an eight track tape player, right? Eight track tape player in here. You got cruise control, power windows, power locks, power seat. Like all this stuff is working. Look at the lights in the door. All of these things, footwell lighting is working. All of these things, believe it or not, in most cars do not work because most people who restore these cars don't spend the money to do this. Here we don't care about that because it's already here. It doesn't need to be restored and it hasn't been restored. This is a beautifully original car with really supple leather still. I don't know how it was preserved. So when we talk about survivors and originality, I want you to see stuff for a second, right? Imagine a 50 year old dash that's virtually blemish free. The wood grain that's here, original carpets, original floor mats, right? Original floor mats, right? 50 year old floor mats. Uh, when we drive this car, you're gonna get the you're gonna get the sense of how I feel because I feel so great in here knowing the the history of this thing and how cool it really is. All right, so I'd like to close up the video with something that's an important statement that people say all the time, and I agree with it. I really do. It's not my creation. I didn't invent the statement, but it is true, and it is this. That simple thing is that they're only original once. When they're restored, that's great that they're restored. However, when they're built and they're original, they always drive better then when they're restored, for some reason, when you take cars all apart and put them back together, at some reason they come with aftermarket parts and whatever. This is original. This has all of the great things that make for a great car, air conditioning and power windows and power seats and tilt and telescopic, eight track tape player, disc brakes, I'm going on and on and on, original paint. Imagine going to a car show and saying Survivor and sitting in a Survivor Series Cadillac section, man. It is a cool, cool piece. You're gonna love it. Anyway, call us 301. 816-1000. We'll tell you all about it. If you don't mind, hit the like button down below there. Uh, gets our message out. Share it with your friends. They might like to see some of the content that we have as well. And subscribe to the channel. We have new stuff coming out all the time. And I will see you on the test drive. All right. So what's it like to drive a car like this, man? Listen, I want you to listen for all the rattles and squeaks and things like that. You don't hear them. You know why? Because it's the original car. It's the original Survivor car. Survivor cars are just nicer cars. This car drives so nice. It's so comfortable. I'm laughing because I'm thinking about driving to the beach in it, right? Two hour ride, like no big deal. Now I know why people bought these things. Wow, this is super, super nice. Big motor, wow, effortless power, look at that. Whoa, how are you doing? I don't even think it kicked down. Anyway, people love this. We're getting thumbs up from everybody all over already. Uh, wow. I think you're going to love it. I think you're going to love it. Drives nice. It's making me smile driving it. I drive a lot of cars.
That's a nice car. All right, I got the turn signal on. I got that nice uh, Cadillac luxury sound. So, we're going for a ride again. Wanted to go a little farther. And look at this, one-handed steering. And while it's a big car, it's got sway bars on it. It's just, I don't know how to explain it to you. Cadillac did a nice job, and now I know why they sold uh, as well as they did back in the day. But there's not a lot of these survivors left, especially 50 years later, right? And we're just rolling down the road, man. This is what I'm talking about. You shut off the phone. No feed from from every piece of information coming at you, boss, Facebook, Insta, everything, feed, right? And you put on some music, man, and you go for a drive, and it is a game changer.